guys, Hacker Tech here for another video, and today I'm going to be doing a product review for a new mask. Um, you know that I've, or if you've seen some of my videos, you may know that I've done um, several videos already on a couple other masks. I've done um, one that was from Israel, and I've done another one that was from the U.S. Uh, the one from Israel is called the Synovia mask, and the other one is from, it was formerly Everbrand. Um, it has been since rebranded to Hereafter. Uh, but I've done a review on those two masks, and so I have a new mask here that I wanted to compare to those two masks. Now, this is a mask that is meant to counter viruses, um, so it can be used um, for COVID-19 um, and things like that. Um, you know, obviously, when we look at the the recommendations and in terms of regulations and things like that, um, a lot of people already do use very basic masks anyway, so this is definitely going to be an improvement to a lot of the simpler masks that are out there or just standard cloth masks. Uh, but I did want to compare it to some of those other masks just to give you an idea uh, of how it stacks up. So before I get into actually showing you the product here, you can see through the website, um, this is what the mask looks like. It does specifically say on here it's got that viral off technology. And the nice thing about that is that it's an additional layer uh, of protection, which is what the Everbrand or Hereafter mask also uses now. Um, that mask has a layer or coating on the mask to prevent contaminants. And also if, if something gets on there that is, you know, like a virus or something like that, it's going to help to kill those um, pathogens so that they don't enter through the mask's material. Uh, just an extra layer of protection on the mask itself. Um, here you can see the package and what's going to come in it here. Um, and this is what I got. You know, I got a package that has uh, the bag here that you can actually put the mask in. Um, it also has that viral off technology as well um, so that it's going to keep things sanitized, uh, which is really good. The mask and then the actual um, strap here as well. So I'll go ahead and get to the actual physical mask here. You can see this is what the mask looks like. Um, fairly in line with what you can see on the actual image on the screen there. And what I do like about this mask is that if you look in the back here and you can see that on the image on my screen as well, is that there's these little snaps here. There is a built-in strap that snaps to the ear pieces. So you have two different ways that you can wear it, but you can also wear it um, almost three different ways. So you can just completely remove this back strap. And if you do that, then you can just have these kind of go over your ears and you can wear it that way, like a, a standard mask here. The other option is you can wear it just around the back of your head. So I'll show you some of these options here. If I wanted to wear it, if I wanted to wear it around the back of my head, if I t make it very tight, I can wear it this way so it's not going around my ears. But alternatively, the third way that I, I would say you can wear it you can put it over your ears like this. And then you can also have the strap in the back for additional um, securing to your head. So I can adjust the strap to be tight as well as have it around my ears. So I'll give you just a chance to see what the mask looks like here. So I have tried the larger and medium sized variants, but this is the small one. And for me, I actually have a fairly big face. So they do run, in my opinion, fairly big because the small one here actually does fit me and it fits fairly well around the top of my nose because I want something that's going to be tight and it fits around my chin very well. Um, the one thing I will say, so I can feel the metal wire up here that you would kind of try and push over your nose, uh, fit around your nose. I can feel that part here. It is a very strong wire. Um, I think everyone's face shape is a little bit different. So for me, um, I did have to really work on it to get it to fit properly so that it's 100% sealed. Now, there are different ways, if you look online, to 100% seal a mask because no mask is 100%. Um, if I compare this to things like the Everbrand or Hereafter mask, for me, the fit was a little bit better in terms of the over-the-nose design. Uh, it did, did have a little bit better seal. However, that mask is a lot bigger too, and even the smaller um, sizes, um, the sizing is a little bit different. Um, so there's pros and cons here, and this one I do like, again, um, for comfort wise, is a very comfortable mask. Um, I definitely almost don't even notice that it's on there. And then again, the fact that you have the strap on the back, if you're someone that doesn't like one that is over the ears, uh, a lot of the other mask options that are out there, they're only over the ear designs. 
So this one, you can you know choose how you want to wear it. So breathability is very good. It does not really obstruct my breathing too much. I can feel that it is not a super thin material, so there's definitely a level of protection there. And you can see that it does, my glasses are fogging a little bit. Um, you know, again, for me, it was a little bit more difficult to get an exact seal. So no mask is perfect. Almost all of them, you're going to have that problem. Um, and again, there, like I mentioned, there's definitely ways online that you can kind of look up to 100% seal it in different ways to help to prevent some of the leakage, um, but that's a reoccurring problem in masks. So that is one thing to keep in mind with this one. Um, you will run into that, but in t terms of comfort um, and design here, it's, it's very good. Um, if you look at the pricing here, so again, you can choose your sizing variant, and the pricing is not going to change. Um, I would say that it's fairly competitive, but a little bit on the pricier side when compared to some of the options out there. Um, so it is $62 for a two pack, which means it is about $31 a piece. Um, if you kind of do the math there for each of those masks, um, which isn't too bad. That is definitely cheaper than the Synovia. So this is going to put this right in the range of between the Everbrand mask and the Synovia mask. So it's a little bit more expensive than the Everbrand or the Hereafter mask. Um, but it is definitely cheaper than the Synovia mask. All right, so just a couple other things that I did want to show you in terms of the actual technology in here, which is probably one of the most interesting things about this mask here, is this does have, again, it has the antiviral and odor um, reduction technology here. Um, it is certified to reduce 99% of viruses. Um, so Corona is one of the viruses that they mention, uh, as well as bacteria. So it definitely has really good filtration. Um, and if you work and you get that seal uh, at the top to fit properly, it's going to do a very good job of keeping out anything. Um, so that is all great with the filtration technology here. Um, they do mention the fit and comfort, which I can definitely say the, the fit and comfort is very good on this mask. And then when we scroll down here, um, the other things that are really important to note here, this is a nanofiber filter um, that is built into this mask. Um, and so they kind of talk about some of the filtration standards that are tied to that technology. The other thing too is that it retains its efficiency to filter out pathogens and, and different contaminants um, after washing it multiple times. Okay, so finally I wanted to go over some of the key benefits here and some of the other things that they talk about on the website here. Um, so what you'll see here is it talks about, you know, again, the viral off technology, which I've covered in a few other videos um, but that's going to reduce the threat from viruses and things like that. Um, more mention of the comfort level as well as this being eco-friendly and reusable. You do get two reusable masks in your package that you receive as well as two head straps. Uh, and again, you can remove those or keep them on. So you do get a resealable and reusable packaging pouch. If you want the storage pouch um, with the viral off technology, keep in mind that does not um, come standard with your purchase there. And if you wanted additional nanofiber filters, um, those are separate. But you can see that there is an offer here. So any uh, viral storage pouch will be included if you're ordering two units, two packs or more. So if you're getting just one pack, of course, you're, you're not going to get that as standard. Um, a couple other things, they do have a sizing chart. So um, just keep in mind before you purchase. Um, you may want to measure and make sure you get the right size so that you can ensure that you get the best possible fit. Um, and then these are coming from um, a couple different places. They're dispatched either from the UK, Ireland, and Asia, depending on where you're at. And then there's some information here on how much time you can expect um, before you receive your product. All right, and I actually found here at the end um, a little bit more information on the washing part. Um, so it does recommend that you wash it about once a week, um, seems to be the general recommendation here. Um, you can read the details here on the website, and I'll have all this linked in the description for you. Um, it does give you information about how often you should wash it. So again, maybe once a week um, is the general recommendation here, depending on how often you're using it um, in those situations. So this is going to help to prolong the life of the mask. Um, there's some information about how you wash it, what kind of uh, temperature levels you want to use for the water that you wash it with. Um, but overall, you can wash this 30 times, and the filter will last about 300 hours. So this is just a quick look at the actual mask itself to kind of show you what the fit was like, um, and also just to kind of talk about some of the features that it offers. Um, it's a fairly new player to the market compared to some of the other ones that I have been using. 
um, just recently saw it pop up. So be curious to know what you guys think. Um, I will have all the links in the description for you guys if you're interested in purchasing one. Let me know what you think, guys. But otherwise, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.